My first memory of Homefield was back in 1993 when I came as a final year student to see practice with um, Dougie Forsyth and David Mazonas who were the partners at the time. And I trotted off back to university and was highly delighted later the following year to receive a phone call to ask me to join the practice. It was a fantastic opportunity and who would have known way back then that I'd still be here now, 20 plus just a few years, <laughs> still working in Brayton. The practice has changed massively over the years and along with that my role in the practice has also completely changed and I've gone from doing purely clinical work to working now on a management basis and it's been something that I've thoroughly enjoyed right the way through. When I qualified, I, like every other young vet, pledged at that time to do the best I could for all the animals in my care. And I still do that, but on a slightly different footing, because now as director of the practice, it's my responsibility to provide our fantastic team with the facilities and the drive to do what we all love doing. And that, at the end of the day, is looking after your pets to the best of our ability. So it was probably about five years ago that it dawned on me that in order for us to continue to do that, we were going to have to make some changes to the building. And that is when the dream first came to life. And it was a dream that kind of got a bit of a life of its own. It started with an image of a lovely building that had enhanced facilities, more space and a better working environment. And it's just gone on and on. There's been planning, there's been designing, there's been working with architects, pleading with the bank, etc, etc. And it's, and it's ended up where we are today, which is just, I'm so proud and delighted that everybody's come to celebrate with us. But I do know that the dream turned into a nightmare on quite a number of occasions, and it also caused a lot of sleepless nights. But not only the impact it had on me, but it had an impact on everybody else involved. It had a massive impact on my family. And I think my husband and children would probably agree. And the old saying of home is where your heart is, probably got modified to home for you is where your heart is, along the way. It's impacted on you as our clients, and we're very grateful for your patience and coping with the disruption as we went along. Reception being upstairs, and coming from consult rooms in porter cabins, and all the other bits and pieces that went along with it. And it's also impacted on the team. You know, our wonderful team have worked through thick and thin in situations that have been less than ideal at times, but they've managed. And the reason behind it was because we all firmly believe in what we're doing in providing the best for your pets. But we have all made it, we're here today. So it's just a massive thank you to everybody. Without our clients trusting us on a daily basis to look after your beloved pets, we wouldn't have a job that we love to do. We wouldn't come into work daily keen to, to look after them. So thank you very much to everybody. And thank you also to Julian for being here to support us. <laughs> He's done an awful lot in recent times to elevate the profile of the veterinary profession. And I know he's supporting the independent practices, trying to do our own thing. So thank you, Julia, and it's over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see so many people um, today on such a lovely day. Uh, thank you all for coming, uh, and thank you to Louise for inviting me today to come and uh, put the uh, pink bandage uh, <laughs> 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 in practice. Um, I think we we spoke about two months ago, was it, Louise? It was, yes, so, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, very politely, Louise asked me to come and uh, attend today uh, and open the practice. Um, and I, I, I was, life's got quite busy for me over the last few years. Um, not only am I a, a busy practicing vet, but there's all the other things that seem to have developed uh, in recent years on top of that. And I do have quite a lot of things on generally in life. Um, I wasn't on duty this weekend, so that fitted in. 
Um, one of my kids is swimming at Sheffield in the Ultra Championships this weekend, and my other son is rowing on the tees at Yarm this morning. Um, so I've frantically been heading up and down the, um, the, the extent of uh, Yorkshire today already. Um, but it was great to come, and I, I felt inclined to say yes to come and help out today. Um, partly because Louise was so polite and so nice and <laughs> um, partly because, uh, as Louise alluded to, I'm very passionate about independent practices um, and the success of, of independent practice um, these days. Times are quite difficult uh, in the world for um, people like us working uh, against some of the big guys. Um, and partly because I'd never opened a veterinary practice before. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I thought it would be quite a good thing to do. The closest I, I've come actually is opening a Christmas tree shop. <laughs> which was a couple of years ago and that was one of my very first sort of um, highlights of my sort of um, in your breath, a celebrity. <laughs> um, so I thought it was an opportunity not to be missed. And particularly because I know the practices um, you know, is a, is a great, a, a great, um, a great practice. Um, it does the right things and it works hard to uh, provide the, the best care in a, you know, in a sensible way. And the, the veterinary industry is changing dramatically at the moment, and not necessarily for the for the best, in my opinion. Um, fees are going through the roof, and um, everybody seems to turn to an MRI scanner at the first sign of anything that's vaguely out of the ordinary and um, I think that the proper sensible you know decent care uh, with the vet that you trust uh, and who really has got the, the best um, thoughts for your pet at the forefront of the mind regardless of um, you know what the bill is going to be at the end and all the rest of it that's really the way to go and, and um, it sounds like that's exactly what you've got here in uh, in this uh, brilliant practice so we'll make that continue and um, thank you for coming and, and now all the ladies are posed <laughs> can you do it so that you face the camera Julie? Yeah. <laughs> just so i don't fail jump to go yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>